Adam, I don't think I've seen... Oh my god. No, this guy again. This guy again. Yeah, Adam. It's been a while, haven't been, man? Adam, should I, uh... Do you want to be... <laughs> oh my god. You, all, you always do that. You always just delete the first message that you send. Why do you do that? Why, why have you done this? Buy a chat, buy. Bully McGuire. Bully McGuire. I love Bully McGuire. I watch, I watch Bully McGuire every day. Anyone who says I'm not the biggest fan of Bully McGuire... Look, look, everyone knows about Bully McGuire, but everyone also knows that I am the biggest Bully McGuire fan. Actually, I'm going to turn the music down a bit. I don't know if you can even hear me. There we go. Yeah, we got Balloons... TD Battle uh, 2 music going on here. I kind of had to because it's like we're, ha we're having a celebration today. This is actually a celebration because the 10 year anniversary. Uh, I know it's pretty late right now, but it's the 10 year anniversary of Dark Souls 2. Not Scholar, but that's what we're playing because, you know, you, you know why. You know why. Getting Mexican vibes. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Actually, I, I, I can kind of see it. I, I love the soundtrack, though. Whenever uh, people do, like, uh, videos showing how-tos for the bosses... I, I actually... So, with Balloon CD6, I don't watch videos for bosses anymore, usually. Like, sometimes I'll skim through it just to see what they use, like, what paragons they use. Um, Well, I mean, with the normal... I don't, With the normal bosses, I don't, I don't use the videos at all. But for the experts... Um, uh, yeah, I'll skim through it and just kind of see... The, the last boss, this week's boss, uh, Vortex, uh, I actually had to start over because I, I just totally fucked it. I, I got the wrong Paragon. It just was not... Vortex, honestly, Vortex is definitely the hardest boss, I think. Dread Balloon can be kind of difficult, but uh, in the er in the earlier rounds, but as long as, you know, you get, you, you know, you vary your, um, your uh, Paragons... You, you should be fine because he's not he's really the only thing that's tough about um dread balloon is like the beginning waves with the uh like the like the fortified balloons that he sends out and those are only like really like an issue in like the maybe the first three uh like tiers for him and then uh you know be because basically he becomes immune to like certain monkeys like for each health bar but even that like he doesn't have that much health uh, and then the other three are easy. Uh, Lich, I, I used to think Lich was really hard, but I kind of just understand him now. Lich is really easy. Um, Lunarius is very easy. So is FaZe. FaZe is really cool, but uh, actually, I, I'm pretty sure they made FaZe a lot harder. Um, I mean, I still think that he's probably... Um, maybe, maybe he's the easiest boss. I don't know. But Vortex, I just... I don't know. Something about the Elite Vortex is most of the time... Sometimes the elite vortexers are are uh, pretty easy, but um, I don't know. Just this week's was really difficult. By the way, if I'm slurring my words at all, and I just I sound very low energy. I had the worst night last night. Not not not, not like um, something bad happened, but you know uh, I'm fine. It's just I got maybe three hours of sleep, <laughs> and I've been up since uh, like seven in the morning. So, oh god, is the fucking... Is it lagging? No, it's fine. I think it's fine. I think I think I did fix the uh, lag issue, but we'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see what's going on. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I got no sleep last night. So, immediately after... This, this stream's not going to be that long. Why didn't you sleep? I just... I was restless. I was lying in bed for, like, four hours. Just couldn't get any sleep. And the thing is that I went to bed, too. Uh, like when I hit, when I, you know, laid down, if I had fallen asleep right then and there, I would have only gotten, uh, seven hours of sleep, but I couldn't sleep for like four hours for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I was, I was, um, listening to Dune Messiah. I'm almost done with, uh, Dune Messiah. Uh, I'm listening to the audiobook on it, uh, of it right now. I'm just listening to it on YouTube. Um... And I'm gonna read uh, Children of Dune after that. God Emperor of Dune. I'm I'm, I'm gonna try to read all the uh, like the the eight main. Well, I mean Frank Herbert. He only made the first six. He he only wrote the first six, correct? Those are really the only ones worth caring about, to be honest. Like when it comes to Dune, like because everything else. Well, I mean, his son started to make uh, 
Like he, his son wrote a bunch of novels afterwards along with someone else. I don't know. I, I don't even know all of the Dune uh, novels. Really, all I care, all, really all I care about are like the main, the main series that uh, Frank Herbert wrote. But uh, yeah, after Messiah, I'm almost done with. I think I only have like two hours left of Messiah. I'm at the part. I'm I'm almost at the part where the stone burner goes off. Uh, oh, st spoilers for Dune Messiah, I guess. I mean, who, who's really going to go read Dune Messiah? I don't know. Tons and tons and tons of people have read... Uh, actually, I, I don't even know if I'd say tons and tons of people. Um, I don't know. I mean, plenty of people have read Dune, but uh, I, I don't know if... I, I don't know. Like, what's the uh, percentage of people that, you know, that have read the original Dune novel and then went on to read Messiah? Whenever I, whenever I read Dune, I always read Messiah right afterwards because not like... Um, like, they're very, very different books. Um, Dune is my favorite book of all time, hands down. Um, that and probably The Road, Watership Down. Um, though I have a lot of other books that I need to read, and I think some of those might become some of my favorites, honestly. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, D Messiah is a very different book. Like, it's very... It, it's not... It doesn't have nearly as much dialogue as Dune. Uh, like it's just uh, it, with Messiah, there's so much just uh, detail given on the environment and like the uh, I don't know, just like the little quirks of all the characters, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a lot slower than Dune. In Dune, stuff is constantly happening, uh, and in Messiah, Messiah's mostly all like uh, dialogue scenes. Um, like in Messiah, nothing as like like with Dune. Uh, as soon as the Harkonnens launch their attack on the Atreides, like, that is such an insane, like, just out of nowhere mo- Like, you, you, of course you knew that that was going to happen. No spoilers, I bet. Okay, no, I, I, I won't talk about Messiah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't talk about Messiah, the, the spoilers. But, uh, well, you know, I'll, I'll stop talking about Dune in case you haven't- or In case you want to, like, actually go and watch the films. They're, they're amazing films. Um, but, uh... Well, amazing films, I should say. You know, the the 1984 film, it's a good film on its own, but it doesn't really get the, you know, the whole point of Dune in there. Um, the uh, sci-fi series is really good, but it's very limited. Um, thanks, Goonfield. Don't worry. Oh, Goonfield. You're going to call me Goonfield. Yeah, no, I mean, um, Dune Messiah isn't nearly as exciting as Dune. Um, like the original Dune, and when I when I say Dune, I'm talking about the original because it, just the original. Um, why is so much fucking stuff showing up? God damn! Why why are there? Okay, I don't know. Um, with Dune, you know, like the first book is just called Dune, and then the second book is Dune Messiah. Oh God, we need to make a new character. Uh, who should I kill? Fucking girly? Yeah, I don't know who this character is. Black Power. Dark Souls 2, more like Schmegma. Yeah, fucking Schmegma nuts. Um, oh god. Oh jeez. Hold on a second. It's not capturing it. There we go. A murky Forgotten Land. Oh yeah, a murky Forgotten Land. It sounds like my ex-wife's house. I love this uh, opening cutscene. It's very, very Dune-esque. You know what I? You know what I mean? This shot right here was inspired by Dune. Well, this is literally Dune right here. Everything is Dune when you think about it. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. That's from Dune. Everything is from Dune. This right here, this scene, Dune. Yeah, but um, Dune, I mean, Dune Messiah is great. It's just um. I kind of consider, like, it, for me, it, it's sort of like the fourth chapter um, of the original Dune, sort of. I mean, but, you know, it's like the longest out of all of them. Because, uh, God, the fucking, the shoulder anus. We're literally watching Dune 2. I know, we, we are watching. I, sh I should change the stream to uh, watch together of Dune 2. Shh, don't tell YouTube. I wonder. I wonder what would happen if I just named the stream <laughs> "Watching Dune 2. If uh, 
Oh god, that fucking spider. A thing that feeds on souls. A feeds hollow. on souls. A hollow. Ooh. Yeah, this is Lady Jessica right here. Actually, no, that actually that does look a lot like the Reverend Mother. I love spiders in video games. Yeah, if you don't have spiders in your video games, the fuck are you doing, man? What is going on in your head if you are not putting big ass spiders in your video game? God, subhuman. Dude, only subhumans who don't work out and don't be awesome all the time. That uh I'm serious? Dude, me too. What what? You think I'm not being serious? God, look at those teeth. Dude, I'm, what do you think those teeth taste like? Ew! What? Oh, man, I thought that was just like a little tiny spike coming from uh, up below. Up from, Coming from up below? What am I saying? Here we go. Here we go. Now, yeah. Do you think he's drunk? You think he's drunk sailing? I fucking hate it whenever you're drunk driving and the cops are like, Stop having fun! Stop! Stop! You're being dangerous. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to have fun. Beyond the Dune and uh, go to Images Dune 2 behind the scenes. Wait, why? Well, I, I think I saw that. Why? What, what, what specifically do you want me to see? You, you haven't seen it, right? Or have you seen Dune 2? Well, hold on. Do, do you not want spoilers for Dune Messiah, which is going to be part 3? Or do you want uh, no spoilers for Dune 2? I am gay. You better watch out. They, they used to call me the uh, the cock magnet. Back in high school, they used to call me the cock magnet. The cock vacuum as well. Do not spoil. Do not do not spoil the book. Or oh oh uh, well I, I I have seen it. Uh, Messiah. Okay. Yeah. I, w I won't spoil Messiah. You suck. I literally just said I'm the cock vacuum. Of course I suck. Oh jeez. Hold on. Wait. Oh, no, there we are. We're good. For that is your fate. Dune Messiah. The fate it's only like, I mean, the audiobook, you can find it on YouTube. It's only eight hours long. It's not a long book by any means. Dune is like uh, tw 19, 20 hours. Dune Messiah is not, unfortunately, it's just not as exciting as the original Dune. It's still good, but uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to read Children of Dune after this. God Emperor. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's Chapter House of Dune after that. Got to read the whole series. Yeah, ju just the just the ones that Frank Herbert wrote. Um. But uh oh wait, actually I can turn that microphone off. I'm not using that one. There we go. Uh, there's like thirty. Well, H Frank Herbert he only wrote uh the original six. Um, it's just uh Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune. God Emperor of Dune, uh, God Emperor of Dune, um, Chapter House of Dune, or Dune Chapter House. I can't hold on. I'm I'm gonna look it up now that I. Okay. Frank, Herbert, Dune books. I'm probably misremembering. Um, all 26 novels. <laughs> Jeez, I think it's more than 26 now, right? Uh. Oh my god, just give me the answer, man. Why why is it so fucking complicated? I type in all the d Okay, here it is. All right. Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune. Oh, Heretics of Dune, uh Chapter House Dune. Okay, I got I I forgot about Heretics. And then after that, uh House of Trade. Wait, these are not Well, what about Sandworms of Dune? What? That's not okay. Well, those those are the those those are the main the, the the six books that you should care about with Dune. Um, there are no cactus on Arrakis. Uh, there are. I mean, there's Saguaro on Arrakis. I mean, I don't, I don't think it ever shows Saguaro, but uh, it's it's mentioned that there is Saguaro on Arrakis. I I, I don't know about uh, other cacti or Saguaro. I think they literally call it Saguaro in the uh, audiobook because I, I was listening to it a few days ago. <laughs> that seems to be the last. Too bad it has absolutely nothing to do with the game. 
All right, what should we name our cat? Should we, uh... Oh, fuck. Can't do Israel versus Palestine? Fuck. Russia versus Ukraine. That one would be really funny, too. That'd be a really good one. Um, that'd be a good old-fashioned one. I love how we're 20 minutes in and we haven't done anything. Who would win? <laughs> who would win? Israel and Palestine versus Russia and Ukraine. Yeah, who, who would win? Bangkok? Fuck, man. Why'd you make me say that? God, the gaslighting. Bangkok. Oh, oh, that's the name. Oh, that's what you want me to name our character? No, it's got to be something that's, you know, towing the line. It's got to be something bad. There we go. That's fine. That's a good name. Bigger. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Yeah. Watch out, lady. They called me the cock vacuum back in the day. Um, all right. <coughs> oh, my God. Yeah, let's get that. Body. Yes. Gender. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Why are you asking about that in this day and age? In this day and age, man? Really? In this day and age? Let's see. Random. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Guild Navigator looking ass. Sandy Cheeks. Uh, Russian soldier to his dog? What the fuck? It's like some Tuscan Raider shit, I swear. Um... Am I forgetting any? No, it's fine. Let's just play it. Who cares? Saguaro cactus. So yeah, Saguaro, and that is how you say it, Saguaro. Um. No, I mean I remember vividly hearing like, cause I I forgot that there were cacti on Arrakis in in the book, and then I was reading it, and they were like, oh, there's Saguaro, and I'm like, oh, isn't it pronounced Saguaro? But yeah, they're they're cacti and around. I, I don't know where it grows. I mean, um, uh, yeah. So I I can't spoil Messiah, but in the film they were talking about centipedes. Uh, they're big ones and little ones. Um, I don't. Uh, I mean, because the thing is, is that the the, the, the sandworms they have there has to be some kind of ecosystem on Arrakis for the uh, worms to survive. I, and I, I'm sure it's explained at some point. I just don't remember it, or I haven't. Uh seen it but i mean the worms they have to consume something other than humans um or maybe they just eat each other i don't know that happens in the animal kingdom they talk about that in dune actually the cannibalism stuff um dune, dune is just so fantastic man we don't deserve dune heretics of dune yeah so that comes after uh emperor god emperor that that makes sense and then Chapter House Dune, yeah. Cock vacuum. What? No, that's no, that's not a joke. That's what they used to call me back in high school. The cock vacuum. Because I would just fucking inhale those things like crazy. They just vibe. Yeah, but why do they have those, you know, big ass mouths with those cute little teeths in there? Yeah, I don't know. To be fair, like, um, imagine an alternate universe Dune where, uh, you know, because throughout the whole, uh, like, first part of the book, it's always alluded to that there's more to Arrakis than meets the eye. Like, especially with the, uh, the worms and the water and stuff. It's like, imagine if Dune actually turned out to be like a, like a, not a flat earth, but like a hollow earth, um, story where, like, the inside, like, like, um, well, you, you guys know what I mean. Hollow Earth. Hollow Arrakis. There's a whole underworld under there, and it's it's filled to the brim with trees, waters, and all, all, all the fruits and berries that you could eat. It's an amazing place. Cockvord. Yeah, they used to call me the cockvorer. I would vore your entire body. And I have mouths inside of my mouth that specifically sucks the... Okay. Um, 
cock vacuum. The cock vacuum. Oh, yeah. Uh, do I need to... I, I don't really think I need to two-hand this, right? I mean, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this thing in, like, two seconds anyway, so... Yeah. I wonder how many... Uh, how many folks... I wonder how many folks who have played this game just uh, roll right on through here without talking to uh, our woman. Where's the... Oh, it's the first thing. Of course it is. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the Estes Shard over here in the well. Anyways, let, we should talk about uh, our appreciation for Dark Souls 2. Because um, it is the 10-year anniversary of uh, Dark Souls 2. Um, you know, obviously it's a very flawed game, but it's a very fantastic game nonetheless. Love Dark Souls 2. I will say, like... Um, a lot of people say that Dark Souls 2 is a bad game. I would I would never say that uh, it's a it's a bad game. I think that's a not a not a correct thing to say. I think that's a it's objectively wrong to say that Dark Souls 2 is a bad game. Uh, it's definitely flawed and uh, it's weirder than its brothers and sisters. But um, Roblox version. I haven't played Roblox in a while. My friends like to play Roblox quite a bit, and I'll uh, hop in on in there and. You know, give them a good old-fashioned tumble. They used to call me the Tumbler back in high school. They used to call me the Tumbler. I'll let you guess why. Oh, yeah, that fucking... Um, covenant over there. Roblox. I remember Roblox back in the day when it was just so much more basic. I kind of liked it <laughs> more then just because it was so much more, uh... I don't know if wholesome is the correct, uh, isn't a bad game. It's just controls and makes, uh, yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. I mean, there's definitely, it's very, um, I mean, the thing about Dark Souls 2 is that it had a really fucked development. Um, it was supposed to, like, what Elden Ring is now, that's what Dark Souls 2 was supposed to be originally. But, uh, they had to make serious cutbacks, and even then, they, like, after the cutbacks, they had to make cutbacks to the game with the like specifically with the lighting engine um like if you look at the demos for dark souls 2 the lighting was totally different and you had to use the torch in some areas of the game but uh they had to get rid of that because apparently it was just melting people's uh gpus <laughs> so um you know it's, it's understandable but it's like man I, I wish that they would uh release like another remastered version of dark souls 2 with like a, a ton of remastered um i mean obviously it's like the visuals i only care so much about the visuals in uh these games i mean the thing is that dark souls 2 i, th I still think it looks pretty decent for what it is it's just the lighting here and there like the lighting here doesn't really look that bad at all um in my opinion but there are so many areas of dark souls 2 where the lighting just looks really bad like here it doesn't look too bad like at least from this angle here this doesn't look too great i guess but uh majula majula looks pretty good for the most part actually i'd say majula looks very good um the uh death counter system that's right as the cuphead the cuphead uh thing i should play cuphead again i haven't played cuphead in a really long time playing monster hunter it'll happen it'll happen sometime i, I do want to play Mount monster hunter i installed it actually a few days ago Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's the correct amount. He's just gonna walk off, correct? Okay, there we go. Damn, dude. Oh my god, that was. Oh my god, man, that that was such an intense boss fight. I can't believe it. Oh man. Oh my god, that was just oh, that was fucking crazy, dude. That was that was insane in the membrane. I can't believe it. We we did that on the first try. The Flamberg? I'd love a Flamberg. It, for me, for me. Uh tough boss, you were sweating, I was sweating, our friends were sweating. I know, man. That was just, holy 
Shit, I'm so I'm so happy I killed that guy on the first try. And we're we're gonna have to do it too on New Game Plus as well. So uh, you best you know kiss me good luck, kiss me kiss me on the lips good luck. Because uh, that, that's that's how you that's how you uh, you know wish people good luck as you kiss them on the lips. There's no other appropriate way for uh, wishing someone good luck. Excuse me, I said yes. I said. <coughs> Anyways, how y'all doing? Dangerous Doug, Artita's son, Bootay Orcs. Is that how you pronounce that? Bootay Orcs? Dude, I guess uh, Orcs got some Bootay. Orcs. Or is that French? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That No, bo uh, uh, Bootay Ox. So I thought that was a... Uh, hold on. I, I actually, I do need to make the chat bigger because I can barely see it okay that's a lot better okay i can see it way better now i don't know why i, I always like whenever i start the stream i'm like uh, i don't need the the text that big i'm not that blind and then when i start the stream it's like i can't fucking read anything my eyes are just awful i need to get glasses what is done cannot be undone yeah i'll i'll be the one i'll, I'll be the the judge the one to judge that i'll, I'll be the the judge of that I'll be the one to judge whether that's true or not. That's actually better. I'll be the judge of that. That's not that good. I'll be the judge of whether that's... I'll, I'll be the acting judge of whether that is true or not. That That's a way better saying. Rolls right off the tongue. Imagine if that hit me. That'd be really bad. Ah. Please don't. Okay. Yeah, the Borderlands movie trailer. Oh boy, does that look bad. All right, come on over here. Don't. Volaire. Mwah. All right, kiss me on the lips. Good luck. It's the only appropriate way. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then he's just going to step over there. Oh, oh my god, I almost fell off. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Dude, we, we killed him twice in a row without dying? That's insane. Oh my god, that, that was just unbelievable. That fight, I swear, that fight, like, I'm actually really impressed with myself that I was able to kill him that that easily both times. That That's great. I, I, I hope y'all are proud of me, because I'm... Honestly, I, I don't mean to, you know, be a dickhead or anything, but I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself after that whole thing. Hardest fight in the game. That is pretty hard, too, because it's, like, such a small arena and you can fall off. Do Deathless or Gay? This is a Deathless run. This is the start of a brand new Deathless run that we're doing. I was about to have a heart attack. Uh, I, I think I did have a heart attack. That was just... Oh boy. Alright, I know I need to put some into decks. However, I don't know how much. We'll put some into health. That, that's enough health. We'll get, uh, how much do we have left over? I didn't see. 8,000. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, how much do I need to level up? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what am I doing? Why didn't I? <laughs> wait, what, wait, what am I doing? From the toilet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, greetings from the toilet. Oh, yeah. You know what they say, you know what they say about what happens on the toilet doesn't come from the toilet. Foo boy, you know you know what I'm saying. Uh, oh, like 800 viewers last time. Well, no, I mean, cause last time someone uh someone hosted me last time. I I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you uh. Oh right, I have to go buy the key. Fuck. Okay, well we can go do that. Uh, is older than me now. I know, right? This game is older than me. I mean. Someone someone did send those viewers my way though. That like that is something that happened. People were saying, "Oh, we're here from blah blah blah." Um I don't know who it was though. YouTube content or streaming every day uh or streaming every Why did I say why did I auto correct that to every um Yeah, no, I I just stream. I don't I don't really like making videos too much because it's just um I don't really uh I don't I don't really enjoy it as much. 
Because what I what I like so much about the streaming is that I get to talk with you guys. Because um it's just fun. I get to play video games, talk with all of y'all. It's just a it's just a good old fashioned time. I always enjoy it. It's very fun. Uh but uh, I, I used to make videos like uh, reviewing shows, videos, uh, no, videos, shows, um, movies, you know, media. Me I, I would talk about media in general, but um, I don't know. I just uh, I just like streaming a lot better. It's very fun. Cracker. I don't know if you're allowed to say that on YouTube. Recommend you to every person. Uh, I that would be awesome if you did that. I mean, I, I mean, the thing is, is that I don't want to get too famous to where it's like, um, people are gonna recognize my voice, IRL. I don't want that. To, I, I mean, e to be fair, even if you're not really that online famous, that can still happen. But um, I mean, I do. I am a master in uh, and this is actually not a joke, by the way. Um. It started out as a joke about me, me saying, oh, I'm a master, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually... So... I'll say this. I know how to change my voice to where... You know, I can, I can make it to where... Um, you know, because obviously you got you guys listen to me. You you, you, you all have listened to me for uh, hours. You, you kind of know my voice to where... You could just think something. Uh, you, you could think of me saying it, and it would be pretty accurate as to what it would actually sound like if it came from my my uh, my voice. But IRL, if you were like the the way that I talk IRL, like just to like to people on the street, uh, like all that kind of stuff. Like if you were to meet me IRL, I, I wouldn't sound the same. Uh, I'm paranoid like that to where uh, I act I actually have like multiple. <laughs> it it sounds crazy, but I'm actually being serious. I am like one of those uh, Benny Tlylax, um you know, what, what are they called? Yeah, the face dancers. Um, but I, I do that with my voice instead. Which, uh, that, that's probably why my voice is so fucked, honestly. But, um... I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate... I'll elaborate on this exact subject at some point in uh, the future, but, um... I'm very tired right now. If you, if you didn't hear, if you weren't here earlier in the stream, I got, like, three hours of sleep last night, so I am very... Oh, fuck yourself. It sucks, though, because I wanted to have a good old-fashioned long stream celebrating Dark Souls 2 10-year anniversary. We'll, 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 we'll continue it tomorrow. I don't, I don't have much going on tomorrow. And tonight, I'll for sure get a good amount of sleep. Um, 38 minutes. Well, 39 minutes. Excuse me. One minute off. Fucking rude. Don't even read chat. It's annoying. Yeah. I mean, um, to be fair, it's like even if you go on... Lo uh, well, I'm, I'm on live chat right now, but even if you were to go on top chat, it still is very fast. And it's hard to make connections with people. Because, um, I mean, there's really only... Yeah, there's only like four of you here right now. Or, or wait a minute. No, actually, no, there's only three, I think. In, in, in the chat. Like, I, I can only see three uh, people's chats right now. I think there... Yeah, it says there's six people here right now. But, um, I don't know. Uh... Because it's like Volaire I, and uh, Artita. I, I I know both of you. I've uh, talked to you multiple times. I mean, Volaire, you're in the you know you're in the Discord, so uh, you you've been here for fucking years. Volaire, I think you've been here longer than uh, most people on the channel. You've been here for like four years at this point, three or four years. I mean, have I been doing it for four? I, I don't know if I've been doing it for four years. Three years. I, I think you've been here for three years. Yeah, but I, I can get away with uh, being on live chat, though, just because there's, like, no one here. Uh, and so I can read every chat message and everything. Uh, hell yeah. Yeah, and I appreciate everyone who comes in here and talks. Because it's like, that's why I like streaming, is I get to talk and have conversations with you guys. And just talk about, you know, fucking gaming and nerd stuff. Like, uh, everyone who I hang out with I IRL and just, um, you know, uh, at least for the most part, they, they, they don't, you know, care about science fiction. They, you know, they don't read the Dune books or like know anything about Dune really. I mean, so actually that's not true. I showed the, I went to, um, I think last, yeah, it was last Tuesday. 
I went to the theaters with uh, a number of my friends, and we saw Dune 2. They, they, didn't, they don't really know anything about Dune. We just recently watched Dune Part 1, then we saw Dune Part 2. I was the only one that knew, like, for the most part, what was going to happen, because even though the movie was not at all like the book, it's it's not, not at all a faithful adaptation in, like, so many ways. <laughs> it's, um... I, I definitely... Look, Dune Part 2 is fantastic. It's probably one of the best movies to come out in, like, the past decade and honestly when uh, dune messiah comes out which is going to be part three uh it'll probably be like the greatest science fiction trilogy uh like film trilogy to uh ever come out but um i don't know i was definitely disappointed in a lot of aspects of the film like in terms of the plot because uh you know as a, as a fan of the books i want to see the book come to life and uh, it's you know it's okay to add stuff in but when you're when you're changing like literally everything and I, you know not literally everything was changed but it was just uh so much of it was um but even then i fucking loved it it was awesome watching that movie and in the theater it was, it, it was so loud and like the seats were rumbling it was fucking awesome uh did you see the premiere uh well it came out last well not last friday but the the friday before last week that's when it came out. I thought it was supposed to come out the 15th. And so the film came out and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't go see it because I was kind of busy and you know, I had the, you know, the streaming stuff going on too. I, I, I just, I, I didn't go uh, right away, but the censorship stuff. What do you mean? Like uh, in terms of chat? Yeah, I get that a lot. People, uh, my my uh, audience tends to be fairly edgy, and they're like, "Oh, why is it doing this?" It's like I don't I don't fucking censor people unless you're like trying to dox someone or you're like actually gonna get the channel in trouble from what you're putting in chat. I won't delete anything. Um, but people are like, "Oh, what um, hmm, Dune popcorn? I gotta buy that. I I need to buy a Dune popcorn bucket. I I don't know where to buy one though. I don't know where they sell them." Uh, would you recommend the books before the movie? Yeah, honestly, I mean, the thing is, is that um, the movies don't really explain that much. Um, the movies, like, <laughs> it's just weird, but, like, uh, the main the main villain, Vladimir Harkonnen, uh, Harkonnen, uh, the Harkonnen, sorry, when I was a kid, I used to call them Harkonnens, but it's actually pronounced Harkonnen. Um, Vladimir Harkonnen, the Baron... Uh, I don't even think they say his name in part one, which is, you know, Vladimir Harkonnen. And they only say it, like, once in part two as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes unexplained in the films. Like, the, the Mentat, I mean, the Mentats are hardly in the fucking films at all, which is just crazy to me. Like, Thufir uh, Hawat, Harwat, or however you, pr I think it's pronounced Harwat, but it's spelled Hawat. Um, Thufir Harwat, he's barely in the film, uh, at all, and, you know, he's not one of the main characters, well, I mean, he's a point of view character in a number of chapters, um, and he's very important, too, uh, but the Mentats, it, it does, the film doesn't really explain what the Mentats are, uh, it doesn't really explain too much on the Bene Gesserit, uh, it doesn't explain the Spacing Guild and how they're arguably the most powerful, well, they really are the most powerful faction in, dune at least in the first novel because um they control interspell interstellar space travel and so like lights so in dune light speed warp speed all that kind of stuff none of that actually exists they're just like ships with um you know engines on them that allow them you know to like move around in space sort of and like uh you know get on and off planets but uh for the most part like the the ships they can't really travel that far on their own they're just like they, they, they have sublight speeds um and so the guild um in dune the spicing the, the, or the spacing guild or the spice guild that they're called the spacing guild um they're made primarily of men the Bene Gesserit are uh political espionage sort of uh faction and they're all women in the spacing guild they're all men it's all pure mathematics um they hold a complete and utter monopoly on interstellar travel because they are the only ones who can uh you know actually do interst interstellar travel and so they're really like they're in some ways they're above the emperor but 
they don't explain the spacing guild at all in the film so it's like uh which is really weird and you, i mean in in the book they are absent you don't really see uh the spacing guild all that much until like near the end um and even then you, they're just like a few navigators and they don't really do much but you still feel like throughout the film like the way that they're talked about um and the way that people mention them you know how powerful they are as a faction they hold a total monopoly on interstellar travel um and so they, they don't explain uh anything with the spacing guild the Benny Gesserit um they, they, I think they yeah they they sufficiently explain what the Benny Gesserit are the uh mentats I mean even though even though they don't really explain what the mentats are uh it's like you it's still it kind of spells it out for like what they like you kind of get the idea that they are you know superhuman uh, supercomputer kind of people um why all the weird Columbine killing and eating? Wait, what? Columbine? Yeah. Well, the weird uh, concubine killing. Uh, concubine killing. What is the concubine killing? Um, like the Baron? Wait, like uh, like the Baron killing is Golas? Which also, they don't explain the Golas, too. Which, I mean, Golas, I think, are they, I think they're mentioned in Dune, but they, you don't actually see them until Dune Messiah. Harkonnen White, Ch oh yeah, those are Golas. Um, those were, I, I don't think, those weren't his concubines. They were, they were uh, slaves, I think, or they were the slave Gola, sort of. Like, like they were just, because um, what Golas are, you can tell a Gola just by looking at it because they have the black metallic eyes um golas are basically they're like sort of clones of humans or like artificial humans grown in these uh like weird uh veggie mash kind of things um a lot of the, like like a goal like they're not exactly so like a clone is an exact copy a, a genetic copy of someone who is still alive Agola is a genetic copy of someone who's uh, like dead. So say like um, in the Dune universe. So like say uh, I don't know like like a Sardaukar who is a really good soldier died. Well, there's a group called the Benny Tlylax in Dune, where they uh, specialize in genetic um, like enhancements, all that kind of stuff. Um, and there are like multiple classes. Like the face dancers are basically just people that can shape shift into different people. Um, not through magic or anything, through, like, g genetic engineering. Uh, and so Golas are just... I mean, also, just, uh, Vladimir Harkonnen, he's... You know, the, I mean, the Harkonnens in general, they're just super insane and just like to kill people. Uh, the nephew had, like, three cannibal ones. Uh, yeah, that's normal. Because, um, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what they were, like, supposed to be. I, I guess they were supposed to be, like, maybe... Um, I, I guess they were supposed to be like sex sex objects for him, um, because that's what the Bl Benny Tlylocks do is they um, create like basically living sex toys for people. That that's one of the things that they that they do, and um, maybe they doubled as bodyguards as well. But yeah, the the weird um, play the Dune sex game. The Smith and Dark Souls too. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole, isn't he? Uh, but yeah, the Golas, artificial humans, and they have those uh, black metallic eyes. Uh, the ones that the Baron had, I guess he just bought them at... See, I, I don't really know... Um, I don't know how expensive they would be. I, mean, I assume they'd be kind of cheap, because they're not... It's not like they're any kind of specialized Golas. I mean, maybe they're... Um, I don't know, maybe they were made to be, like, super, uh, like, submissive. Just, you know, but, I, I mean, at the same time, it, like, sounded like they were struggling when, uh, Vladimir Harkonnen was killing them. Um. Yeah, the three cannibal, uh, they, they only appear in that one. See, I, I was, see, that's the thing, is I was really <laughs> intrigued by that as well. What exactly, I, I'm sure, basic. I'm sure just what they were was, you know, just, like, um sex toys basically that doubled as bodyguards or whatever 
uh, but they ate raw meat. That's interesting. And then in the first film, the uh, on Gady Prime, when uh, Gaius Helen Mahayam is talking to the Baron and Piter, uh, which by the way, Piter also, uh, Piter is not the same as Thufir. Like they're both Mentats. However, Piter from the first film, he Piter was barely in the first film at all. He was uh, the Baron's Mentat, the you know that guy, the skinny bald guy. That was, I mean, they were all bald, but um. And Piter had a... He was a lot more... Uh, he, he wasn't in, like, a whole lot more scenes in the book, but he just... He, he had way more interesting conversation. He, he had a lot more to say. He was an interesting character. Uh, he was cool to read about, like, the conversations between him and the Baron. Like, um, he and the Baron would constantly argue and fight, and it, it was just really well done. But, uh, yeah, Piter is not the same sort of Mentat as Thufir, who is the Mentat of the Atreides. Um, oh god. Uh, Piter was actually a twisted Mentat, which is a Mentat created by the Benny Twi'laks, who are the same guys who create the Golas. Um. Also sends that leader guy. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, cuts the throat of the, uh, the colonel, and then he's just like, yeah, just go give his body to my... No, no, that that was just a random dude. That was just some random dude. They they would never kill a like I mean the thing about mentats is that they are extraordinarily um useful. Like uh what, what what's like a I don't know, think think about this. Like you're in a zombie apocalypse and you find a gun that has unlimited ammo. That's basically the uh like the value of a mentat. Mentats are extremely valuable. They are like basically modern supercomputers, but humans. Uh, and Piter specifically as well. He was actually uh, a skilled assassin. Um. But uh, yeah, the twisted mentats—they they were a bit different than normal mentats uh, in terms of like. Um. Does uh, Zendaya die in Dune Two? No. Wait, are you talking about Dune Part Two or Dune Messiah? I'm not. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna give any spoilers for Dune Messiah. <laughs> Well, you, you can at me, you can message me on Discord and I'll, I'll tell you. But um, I'll tell you what happens in Dune Messiah. I love Dune Messiah. But uh, I, I can't believe I died there. That's fucking, wow. It's all because of that cockhead right there. Um, and they need spice. Um, well, Piter is addicted to spice. So if he goes off of it, he's just going to die. Any Anyone who's addicted to spice will die very quickly. Uh, if they are in a spice deficit or if they're just like, if they, if, if, if you can't like with the spice, the thing about spice is that it's objectively good for you. It, uh, you know, it has anti-aging properties. It makes you way stronger. So like in Canon, uh, Fade Rautha and Paul, well, Fade Rautha specifically is like really like strong because of the spice. It like, it, it enhances your brain, it enhances your body. Spice is like, it, it turns you, it, it, it just makes you way better in general, physically and mentally. But, um, if you go off of the spice, you're going to die. And so that's why, that's one of the reasons as to why the spice was so, um, like, uh, like, oh, I mean, it's not the, re the, the reason why it was so in demand. It was so in, de in demand because it was so useful. Like the, um, spice is the reason why... Uh, the Spacing Guild is able to uh, do interste interstellar travel, and it's the reason why the uh, the Bene Gesserit have like their um, like their truth saying powers. Why don't Piter's eyes turn blue? Uh, it, it's a it's a plot hole. His eyes should be blue. He should have the eyes of the bad, but they forgot about that. So, or maybe, maybe in the movie he just wasn't. They just made it to where he wasn't a spice addict, which uh, doesn't make sense for his character. And also, like, I'm pretty sure, like, most Mentats are spice addicts. Like, I, I actually, I don't remember if uh, does Thufir have the eyes of a bad? He should. He should have the eyes of a bad, right?
get off the movies. That's all. Yeah, she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't great in Dune Part Two. Like she was really the. She was the only Fremen that like didn't have an accent. And you know what's crazy too is that they totally forgot about Kynes. And because they gender swapped Kynes, Kynes in the book is a guy. And also Kynes in the book is Cheney's father. And so that's one of the things that Cheney and Paul bond over is that they literally both just lost their fathers. That's one of the uh, like the first things that they kind of like talk about deeply to one another is that they, they just both lost their fathers in this fucking awful time. And they Kynes isn't even mentioned in Dune Part 2. And like Kynes is a really influential figure to the Fremen. Like the Fremen before Kynes showed up, uh, the Fremen were doing human sacrifices. Like they would uh, sacrifice virgins at all, like all the time until Kynes literally made them stop. That's how influential and how much of a badass Kynes was to the Fremen. And he just, he was barely in the films. Especially in the second one, he, he he wasn't even mentioned. I don't think he was even mentioned. Well, she, because they, you know, swapped. But, um... Yeah, it's like, in, in Chani, I, I guess that's not canon then in the films where, you know, like if Kynes was Chani's parent, it, it, they, they obviously would have uh, mentioned that. Or maybe it was in a deleted scene. I don't know. I mean, that's that's crazy if they if that was, like, in the film, but they deleted that. Uh, like, that's a deleted scene. That's fucking nuts if that's the case. But, um... Yeah, the the goal the, the goal is yeah, the uh, yeah the goal the goal of slave the goal of servants, they get fucked up, uh, the goal of um, sex women that Fade has I, I I guess that's just what they are is uh, basically living sex toys, <laughs> and I'm not I'm not even like over exact I'm not even being like hyperbolic that's literally probably what they are is that the the Benny Twilight it's literally said that in Dune Messiah that they make those a lot. Just, um, oh, well, I, I totally got off topic from earlier. I was going to talk about in Dune part one, when, um, uh, Gaius, Helen Mahayam, the, um, you know, the, the bad bitch mama, when she's talking to Piter and, um, the Baron, there's like that weird spider creature thing that 100% was, uh, created by the Benny Tleilax, Tleilaxu. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly what it was supposed to, maybe it was supposed to be some kind of bodyguard, weird spider bodyguard looking ass thing. I don't know. It's like the film did that so well to where it's like, there's so many of these like little things here and there that really captivate your mind. Like one of the things that I was wondering about so much, like driving uh, home from the theater when I saw the film was uh, Dune part two were those uh, things that were like the uh, gladiator guards that like freaked out when Fade took off his shield in the arena. Um, like they were covered totally in, uh, you know, black clothing, but, the, you know, you could hear like the uh, weird chattering of their teeth. Uh, th those were obviously like, may maybe they weren't Golas, but they like, because Golas are specifically like a, a copy of someone else. But um, they were just like some genetically engineered weird monster thing and i guess the uh the, the teeth chattering that's like designed to distract fighters in the arena i don't know final suit oh man good luck with finals man good luck i mean that i'm sure you'll do you're you're a smart guy you'll you'll do well I have tw how do I have 28,000? So oh, right, because I killed the Pursuer. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I, I forgot I killed him. The Pursuer. He's a very, very easy boss. That's the thing about... Like, e even though even though I'll complain that they left this out, they changed that in the films, they're still, they're still fantastic films. And there's so much, like, you know, little bits of creativity here and there that really catch your eye. Uh, like things that they added in to where it's like not even really that relevant to the story, but it's just like really cool. I love when, um, uh, when not just movies, but, uh, stories. I love when stories are able to do that. Cause it makes it so much more interesting.
Yeah, no, Piter's his eyes should should have been blue. I mean, Piter should have been. Apparently, there were a lot of deleted scenes with Thufir and Piter. Uh, two scenes specifically with Piter that were um, deleted, where he's. It's after the uh, Atreides uh, have fallen at Eric. Well, all over Arrakis, not just Arakine, but a uh, Carthag, the uh, big spaceport. Um. But it's after they've you know been conquered by the Harkonnens on Arrakis. Uh, Piter actually has um, through fear like being guarded by a bunch of Sardaukar because what happens in the book and, and this isn't in the film it was supposed to be in the film there was a scene uh, filmed with Fade Rautha and or Fade Rautha yeah sorry um, Fade and through fear where they're talking and I'm sure like because uh, in the book uh, Fade kind of looks up to through fear in a way and through fear is sort of okay actually let me explain I'm getting ahead of myself so after the Harkonnens take over Arakeen, they capture Thufir, and afterwards, like, after Piter dies, the Baron is like, oh, we have Thufir? Oh my god, I'm gonna use him as my own Mentat, because, um, Piter is a good Mentat in the Dune universe, but Thufir is, like, the Stephen Hawking of uh of mentats and like he's he's greatly feared greatly respected and the barons like even even though he worked for uh the atreides who are his arch enemies for a millennia um he's like yes bring him over here he's useful i i want this guy to work for me um and so and the reason why thufir works for the baron is because he thinks everyone in house atreides is dead so he's like you know what i'll i'll just fucking work for him and i mean also you know, the, the Baron has him, like, to where, uh, uh, the Thufir, he has to dr be drinking this, um, like, little bit of antidote every day. Because initially he poisons him, and he gives him a tiny bit of antidote every day to where it, you know, delays the reaction. Well, stops the reaction from happening, but if he goes even one day without, uh, having the antidote in his meals, uh, he'll die. So he has, you know, that threat looming over Thufir's head. But, um... Yeah, and so that doesn't happen in the movie. I, I mean, I guess canonically it does happen. Because, uh... Well, I mean, the Sardaukar capturing uh, Thufir, that, that doesn't mean anything. But, um... I mean, there's, there's the deleted scene. It's confirmed to be a real thing of Fade and Thufir talking in Dune Part 2. Now, I, I just... I can't believe they kept that out. And uh, Danny, who was like, well, I kind of wanted it to be more of a Benny Gesserit film. It's like, what the fuck? Like, why? <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Like, it can be both. Like, the, the Mentats and the Bene Gesserits, they're both extremely important to Dune. Um, I don't know. I'll just, I'll never understand the, uh, and, and also, the thing is, is that it's like, he doesn't want to release these deleted scenes in, like, an extended cut. That's, that's kind of crazy. Crazily unfortunate. Um... Damn. Duncan Idaho in the book, actually. Uh, in Dune, he isn't really in the book all that much. He doesn't have the same sort of uh, relationship with Paul that we see in the film. Um, uh, he, he's the... Like, out of all of the uh, men working for House Atreides in the book, like, he is the, well, maybe, well, no, because Gurney, I mean, Gurney overall gets more screen time, but I think in, um, part one, Duncan Idaho is, like, uh, you know, he, he's, he's the character to where, you know, he has more scenes than he did in the book, and, uh, given a lot more attention, uh, because in the book, Duncan Idaho was the, uh, Actually I, actually, I don't know if that's true. Like, both Dr. Yue and Duncan didn't really get too many scenes, but um, all the scenes with Yue were very, very vital because, you know, Yue was the traitor, and so, like, the whole time he's like, oh, my God. Like, there's this whole scene. I love this scene where he's talking with Jessica, and he's like, oh, my God. He's so petrified that he's going to say something to Jessica and blow his cover because she can tell if people are lying because she's a Bene Gesserit. But he also wants to tell her because he loves the Duke and he loves the Atreides. Um, but, uh, he didn't really have any scenes worth mentioning in the film other than, you know, when he, uh, stuns Duke Leto. That, I don't know. I, I don't understand. Like, I can understand holding the secret that Yue was the traitor, 
but um because in the book it tells you right off the bat like ua is the traitor and so you know that all of this is ha is coming uh and the like second part of the book uh like it starts out with paul um and gaius uh, gaius helen mohayim and then it transitions to the baron talking to um piter and fade about the uh invasion that he's going to launch on arrakis with uh his men in the uh, Imperial Sardaukar. <coughs> Which, by the way, I think there's a misconception with the Sardaukar being, like, the only uh, soldiers that the Emperor has. The Emperor has other soldiers. It's mentioned that there are other soldiers in the Imperium that, like, work for the... That are, like, Imperial soldiers that, you know, they don't answer to any great house or corporation or group or whatever that they work for the Emperor. There are, like, other soldiers that the Emperor has. It's just that the um, Sardaukar are his elite force. But we really only see the uh, the Sardaukar. That, that's all we see. The him and uh, Them and Count Fenring. But, uh, oh, you know what? I probably should... I'm going to go do the egg thing real quick. Because the Emperor, I mean, the Imperium is massive, but the Emperor doesn't have that many Sardaukar. It's not a lot, like, the Sardaukar aren't that good to where they can fight uh, a force that's like a hundred times larger than them. I guess I didn't miss, miss much. Yeah, I'm just talking about Dune. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what was I going to say? Oh my god. Oh jeez. No, don't don't worry. I'm not going to give any spoilers for uh for Messiah. Don't worry. No spoilers for Messiah. Don't worry. I will I will keep to my word for that because it's going to be Dune Part 3. That's what Messiah is going to be. Um which uh I'm I'm very excited to see that. Um I don't think they've been working on it at all though. That's the thing is uh, about uh these Dune films is that they didn't make parts one and two together uh because they didn't know if dune part one was going to do well at the box office obviously it did very well and dune part two i think it's doing comparatively way better they made 40 million the first night which is wow <laughs> um but uh yeah and i mean dune part one came out in what october of 2021 so yeah it's been a <laughs> it's been a bit uh so you know, I'm not I'm not expecting Dune Messiah to come out uh, for a while. It, you know, at the soonest, it's going to come out like late 2026 or something. About three seem like AI. Je yeah, the, it's all like it's all just copy and paste. Like so many like on online articles now, I I feel like they're all like that. It's just awful to read <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's like you you have one you, you just you have this little curiosity and then it's just fucking brain rot that you're leave that you're reading just constantly i have brain rot right now i can't fucking speak the last the lost bastle well there's another uh another pursuer that we can go kill yeah there's not not really too much news the on, the only Stuff that we knew, the only stuff that we know about Dune Part Three or whatever they're gonna call it, they might call it Dune Messiah, Dune Part Three, Dune Part Three Messiah, uh, is that the uh, source material is Dune Messiah, <laughs> and that it's happening in general. That that's really all we know. Yeah, I'm gonna. The dogs aren't gonna try to come get me, correct? Okay, and I, I can get this before he gets me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. After Wonka. I heard that was bad. I didn't see it, though. It looked a bit off, but... Uh, I don't know. Just so much of what Hollywood puts out these days. I'm just, I'm just not interested. It just does not look good. And so much of what I've seen from Hollywood in the past few years is just not... Good. Wonka. 
I'll, I'll have to look up the reviews for it and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I, I might I might watch it, but uh, I loved uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when uh, I mean I still love that movie. It's it's a great movie. Uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate is that what the book is called? Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka and the Cho Chocolate Factory because it's not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's that's what the uh, movie is. Uh, but yeah, Timothy Charlemagne, he's a pretty good actor, I think. Uh, he did a very good job as Paul in part two. Uh, especially, like, when he really sort of embraces the role of Muad'Dib. Um, it's very good. Like, the way his voice sort of, like, changes. Uh, like, his aggressive Fremen language as well. I don't know, he, he, he did a great job. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like a like you could just like it's a it's a subscription. You can just kind of go in there. You can see like a certain amount of movies per month or something. Oh, jeez, what is going on here? So movie theaters, they they don't make money from the tickets, correct? They only make money from like all the snacks and stuff that you buy. Watch as many as you want. Oh, okay. Oh, God damn. Dude, the fucking Resident Evil dogs, I swear. That's literally what these guys are. They're li literally Resident Evil dogs from Dark Souls 1. Snack prices are insane. I know. It's ridiculous. I saw I saw a meme of, like, uh, Costco hot dogs where they're, like, $1.50, right? And the, the hot dogs at the theater that I went to were like $7 for something that... I, I mean, it's like a hot dog. Like how... Oh, man. I don't know if it's like rude. What do you mean? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Don't... Don't... Okay, he did it. He did it. Well, now we need to go get the bonfire. Cram like 50 million things from the dollar store. Eh. I mean, it's weird that they don't let you bring stuff. I mean, I, I kind of understand that, like they want to pressure you into buying their stuff, you know. But there we go. Yeah. Wow, look at all these souls that I have. Damn. Too bad I can't go back. Oh, I have to go do No Man's Wolf. How long will we? I, I can go. I can go a bit longer. Like I said, I'm extremely tired, but we can we can go. I I need to get something to eat after this anyway. Oh God, I'm not I'm not dying. I'm not dying here. Stop. Oh, the chip bags? Yeah. I mean, thankfully for me, the, the film was loud enough to where I I didn't hear anyone around me, like, talking or, you know, eating, that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I sat there the entire two hours and 45 minutes in the same position. My back did not feel good after that, but, uh, man, it was, it was worth it. Hand out buckets? Yeah. That makes sense. Are movie theaters doing well? Like, are, are are they still making money? Because I I think I'd I think I'd cry if uh, you know how like Toys R Us went out of business. I think I'd I'd cry if. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well maybe if I do this. Are you what the fuck? Okay, the other guy can hit these. And they explode. But when I hit them, they don't explode. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? And where's the key for this? Oh, you don't get IMAX. Oh, okay. Fuck. Well, do I have a Homeward Bone? Okay. Thankfully, I have a Homeward Bone. May as well go back and spend all my souls. 
Wait, is that the giant? Is that the last giant soul that I have there, or was that from the um the pursuer? Yeah, last giant. Oh man, I am really hungry. Actually, I have a whole bag of Doritos right next to me from that uh, gas station that my friends and I go to. Um, I don't know if you. I, I don't know if you. Uh, were here when I was, or if you were watching when I was telling everyone about the uh, the corn dogs. There, so there's this gas station that my buddies and I stop at almost every day now, um, early in the morning. And uh, I, I live in Alaska, by the way, if you didn't know. And uh, you know, things things are weird up here. There's this one gas station that is amazing. They have they like all the food that they sell is in bulk. Like they, you know, they have like their little junky candies uh, here and there. But uh, they sell a lot of like really good food in bulk, uh, and some junky food as well. But uh, we got, I got a box of corn dogs, uh, a box of 100 corn dogs, for like 30 bucks. A hundred corn dogs. That's like, that's like fucking 20 days of corn dogs. Wow. All yep. All that into agility. There we go. Hell yeah. The iframes. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, and, uh, the other day I went in there and, uh, they had, like, this massive, massive, like, they were fucking baskets, <laughs> basically, of, uh, I really don't have any. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna buy some. I don't remember, uh, how much it, oh, it doesn't cost that much at all. Oh, really? I, I can get three more. Um, well, I mean, l let me just go back to the other place and get the other bonfire. But, yeah, I think it was, like, 100 carats. Uh, gigantic, uh, gigantic ball sack of potatoes. Uh, a bunch of frozen tamales and pizzas. Oh, man. We're, we're built to last here. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna survive whatever fucking apocalypse gets thrown at us. Whether it's the, uh, fucking cordyceps shit. From oh, uh, well, I mean, here's the thing: is that if it's the cordyceps um, fungus from the Last of Us uh, video game, where like the uh, spores they'll infect you, then yeah, we're fucked. But if it's just the uh, the ones from the show, where they have to bite you to infect you, or it, like gets in your food, um, I think we'll be fine. Oh God! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! How are you not dead? Excuse me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Fuck you! God damn it, man! <coughs> That's actually so fucking obnoxious. I knew that would, I don't know I don't know why I did that. Okay, now I don't have a fucking no, I do have a homeward bone. Well, after this, I'm not going to have fucking anything. I better do it the next <laughs> the next run. That's actually so obnoxious, man. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll hit him once. I'll try to get him to turn around real quick. But uh oh yeah, let me let me rest. Oh, and I still have that shard that I haven't used. Oh, fuck you, man. There we go. That's for you. Wow, I'm I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to watch back on the I'm, I'm going to watch this stream back and be like, "Wow, this is this is horrible. I'm like I'm dying in this." <laughs> I'm I'm really I'm not dying. I'm fine. It's just uh, when I get tired, I get very quiet. Okay, don't push the barrel. Okay, th those barrels are that that's okay. You can hit those barrels. That's totally fine. I mean, as long as I'm not right next to it. What am I doing? Why did I hit him when he's doing the invincibility frames? Okay, go. It's gonna work. It's gonna work.
This game's fucking stupid. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Are you actually fucking kidding me? How does that not cause it to blow up? What fucking retardation is this? Oh my god. I'm sorry. This game just fucking pisses me on sometimes. That is actually retarded. Wow. Well, uh, I'm not going to fight the Rune Sentinels right now because I'll get my uh, my ass clapped. Plus, also, I think I mean, my, my weapon will fucking break before I even get in there. Um, before I can even beat the boss, like it'll 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 be like that on my last Dark Souls two stream where I was fighting the dragon, and uh, like the halfway point was when my weapon broke. <laughs> oh my god, it, it, that's 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 crazy. And hold on, I can't I can't even open that gate, can I? That's so I, I I hate the level design right here because it's like obviously you can get the key to get it, get over there but it's like that bonfire there you can't get there without having to use uh, it's it's stupid uh let me see I can't open this correct wow that's really good level design that's really awesome that's cool um. I don't know what to do right now because I, I I don't even fucking have a uh, homeward bone. And I'm not gonna kill myself. Well, I mean, I already I already died to the gravity, so <laughs> there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here that uh, I can I can use to my advantage, to my benefit. Hello. Anyone down here? Oh, this guy. Hell yeah. The Joker. I'm the Joker, baby. That's a funny meme. Ow! What are you doing? Goodness gracious me. That's rude. God, these guys... Like, uh, every time I come in here, these guys are so rude to me. Ooh, he almost poked me. There we go. Um. And this just opens to a fucking. <laughs> I love this door. That's that's funny. That's that's pretty funny right there. Oh, jeez. Actually, in the books, uh, in, uh, well, in Dune, uh, the Baron is actually a pedophile. There's a scene later on where he's like, yeah, have that slave boy that I bought, uh, brought to my room and have him drugged. I don't want to wrestle him. And, uh, in his mind, he's like, yes, that one, the one who looks like Paul Atreides. As the barons, uh, they, they didn't do that in the movie. They, they had him uh, kill his Gola servants. Uh, they were like, no, don't touch me. No, no. Oh, okay. Imagine if that killed me right there. He knocked me uh, like down the ladder. That would have been... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to fight the Ruin Sentinels because they would fucking obliterate me. Um... This is really kind of pissing me on right now because it's like, ugh, that's that's actually so annoying. I I can't blow it open with fire bombs, right? And I I don't even have any fire bombs. What am I talking? Wait, what 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 if I hit it with the the magic urn, whatever that is? Maybe that maybe that would work. Maybe I hope I dream I dream that it'll it'll work. Oh, I, I should fucking have that thing on. Oh my god. Nope. That didn't work. I really don't have any fire bombs. Oh. I'm not using that. I got jack shit. I got jack shit. Well, 
This is quite the uh, Scooby-Doo mystery right here. Hold on, can I can I try to attract these guys' attention so I can like mess with them? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, come over here, Resident Evil Four dogs, or well, Resident Evil One dogs. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said Resident Evil Four. Anyways, happy anniversary, Dark Souls Two. I gotta head off. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Mwah.